There were a number of things that caused us to implement the standard. One of them is that as an organization that specializes in creating positive workplaces, we could see the impact of poor practices on people's psychological well-being. And so we gravitated to the standard as a way of trying to work through that and make workplaces better. As a small employer, we have a lot of advantages. It, we're so much more flexible, we're able to switch things a lot quicker, to change the culture of the workplace takes a lot less effort. So as a smaller employer, one of the challenges is there are simply fewer people to implement the measures that you want implemented. So it becomes something that is part of an existing job rather than my sole job. So it creates some time challenges, but I haven't found that to be too difficult. We managed to keep that alive by making it part of all of our decisions so that it doesn't feel like I have this separate project along with I have another champion in my office and it's not like we have this big project we have to work on. It's every time we do something we're going to incorporate it in. So that's how we've managed as a smaller organization to make it part of what we're doing. At the time that we started with the standard we were undergoing a lot of internal change and so it really helped to drive us towards creating some different structures and policies and approaches that would help us through that change. So it provided some way of measuring and evaluating what we needed to do and then the guidance for how to do that. We're a law firm, we have partnership meetings and we have a standing agenda item about whether or not the decisions we're making are in the best interests of everyone that we work with, including ourselves, from a psychological health and safety standpoint. So it's an easy way to start and it's also a great way to sustain the work that you do as part of the national standard. We have a Feel Good Friday, so one Friday a month we have a couple of people take turns and we pick an activity, low or no cost, an hour or less, at the beginning of the day or at lunch. It's things like we made waffles one day, we, the last time we did it we played Name That Tune and it just helps us to see the humanity in each other. So it's fun to be able to say that when we're recruiting. We give everybody their birthday off. Again, that goes in our little employment offer letters. It's not this legalistic thing. It says, we give you your birthday off. We want you to feel good. So it does help from a recruitment tool. And I think it means that we're attracting like people. The whole process has transformed our organization. It has made our culture more engaged. Everyone's more productive. I see a higher level of satisfaction, a much lower level of things like presenteeism and absenteeism. So I think as a whole, it's just made it a really great place to be. As a business owner, I also have the bottom line benefits of increased productivity, but it really feels like the proverbial win-win that we're all coming out of this ahead of where we were before we started.